Hello, I'm David M. Chester, founder of the Chester Law Group, an Ohio personal injury law firm with offices across Ohio. Let's discuss what to watch for if you find yourself talking to an insurance adjuster without a lawyer after an Ohio accident and some of the tactics that some Ohio insurance adjusters will use to convince you to abandon your case or to take a lowball offer. Watch out for insurance adjusters that try to befriend you and make promises to pay future medical bills. Of course they want you to think that your claim will be fairly evaluated and there's no need to contact an attorney. In fact, one insurance company's training manual teaches their adjusters to keep injured victims away from lawyers by being their friend. I believe they do this for one reason, to save the insurance company money. The insurance companies know all too well that clients who have legal representation have larger settlements in general. Remember, these are trained professionals who know just what your claim is worth according to recent jury verdicts and they are trained how to negotiate a settlement that is in their favor. Don't be fooled by a nice voice on the other end of the phone. The one who knows that you are most likely inexperienced in negotiating claims. Adjusters are, by and large, good people. But many of them work for companies that require them to save money by paying the least amount that you will take for your claim. It only makes common sense. They are in the business to make money. And paying you a lot of money makes them less money. The less they pay out, the more profit they make. Make sure you even the playing field. Just because an insurance adjuster says your claim is worth X dollars doesn't make it true. Your claim is ultimately worth what you will accept and what a jury will give you. With a competent personal injury lawyer documenting your case and willing to go to court for you if necessary, the value of your case usually goes up. Looking at it another way, the value of your case can also be measured in what amount the insurance company will pay to reduce the risk of a large jury verdict. Insurance companies hate risk. A competent, aggressive personal injury lawyer increases that risk, which increases the settlement offer in most cases. Think of lawyers and litigation like nuclear weapons. Few people want to use them, but just having them around makes you safer against the other side. When the insurance company knows you have a lawyer who has repeatedly taken them to court and made them pay dearly in the past, they're more likely to pay more money to settle the claim. It only makes sense. Talking to defense lawyers over the years, some freely admit to us that they take the reputation of the lawyer into account when deciding what to offer. This is all part of the defense lawyer doing his job. His job is to calculate the risk to his or her client. Now, after successfully handling thousands of personal injury cases, it's my opinion that the more experienced, competent, and aggressive the lawyer is, the better the settlement in general, all things being equal. Some adjusters take the opposite tact from being your friend. They may tell you that you have no case, that you could not have been injured in such a low-speed accident. If your injuries are serious, they'll still say the same thing. Have you heard this before? Other adjusters may say that other people weren't hurt, so how could you be hurt? Or they'll say you were hurt because you're old or overweight. They'll say juries aren't awarding very much money these days. But they may be so bold as to simply tell you they'll only pay for a limited amount of medical treatment no matter what your doctors say. Now for more information on handling your personal injury claim in Ohio, go to chesterlaw.com and request a copy of my free book and video. The free ebook, free video, and indeed the entire website will allow you to gain valuable information. Contact us now.